This is how you take an ankle bracelet off. You're looking at what solidified one Springfield man's tampering charges earlier this month, an educational video for criminals posted to Facebook back in July. Color 10 reporter Colin Lingo has the story tonight about one man's attempt at freedom and how it backfired. Yeah, now, ironically, the how to video we're about to show you demonstrates exactly what not to do as it took the man in the video from his relatively comfortable spot on probation and landed him here in the Greene County Jail. This is how you take an ankle bracelet off. It's educational video. Without breaking the circuit. Is according to the Greene County Prosecutor's Office all the proof it needs to put this man, 33 year old Dustin Burns, in jail. You see, it was back in June, Burns was convicted of fourth degree domestic assault. It was a couple weeks later, on July 2nd, his probation officer received a no motion alert from the bracelet before finding it abandoned behind the Jordan Creek Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. After that, this video went up on Facebook. It's also a way of don't damage it, so you won't owe thousands of dollars. And that's for what happened next. We're turning again to Burns' Facebook page. 20 days after the bracelet video, more videos went up. Two from what looked like a moving bus. Also, this status was posted. There are no words I can use to describe this place. Portland is amazing. The posts continue up until August 27th, the day before the probable cause statement says Burns, quote, surrendered to the Laclede County Sheriff and, quote, admitted to removing the monitor device and posting the video to Facebook showing how he did this. Burns is now faced with a felony tampering with electronic monitoring equipment charge. Colin Lingo, Ozarks First.